Okay, as everybody knows, anyone who owns power tools knows that uh, one of the byproducts of this is dust, dust for miles, and when you're using it, it just gets over everything and everywhere. Um, now I've got a, a reasonable sized garage, but when you're using these things, the dust just lands on everything throughout the whole garage, and it's a mess. Um, so what I did was decided I wanted to try and capture as much dust as I could at the source rather than trying to clean it up afterwards, which is a nightmare. Um, and especially if you've got cobwebs in your garage like I've got, they become even more obvious when they're coated in dust. So I decided to make a, a cyclone system. I had a look on YouTube and um, many different people are doing many have many different ideas. Some have made very, very expensive or bought very expensive dust extraction systems. Um, I'm not in a position to do that, so I found a nice cheap one whereby, um, with the purchase of a couple of buckets, um, you can make your own just by attaching a vacuum cleaner to the uh, top and center of the bucket, and that will create a vacuum within the bucket down through the middle and then there is a suction port or an entry port into the side of the bucket which then goes to the rear of your power tools. Um, so I've got that onto the skill saw, uh, the drop saw and I've also got a suction port on the back of the router table. So I'm going to give it a wee test and see how it goes. The idea or the theory is that it creates a vacuum within the two buckets and the side entry of the dust uh, creates a circular or vortex motion within within the buckets and the dust that comes in travels around the outside and I've placed a baffle in the middle of the top bucket and what that should do is trap the dust as it comes around into the bottom section of the bucket. So the theory is that it should have relatively clean air being drawn out of the top. Um, so what I've done is I've cleaned the vacuum cleaner out, it doesn't, it does accommodate a bag but I don't use a bag and this is the filter separator from the vacuum of the motor and I've given it a darn good clean out, there's no wood chips or anything in there anymore, cleaned most of the dust out that I can find, there is some fine, um, fine dust that's trapped in the weave but it's nothing that you can see, just discolours it that's all. So I've got all that back together again and I'm going to uh, fit the hose probably first to the uh, uh, router table and that'll produce some pretty fine dust and then I'll connect it to the drop saw after that and we'll see what sort of collection we get at the bottom. Now theoretically it should all be in the buckets and there should be little to no evidence inside the vacuum cleaner. So let's try it.
just noticed that uh, even though I've got these vacuum hose attached to the back of the drop saw there's still quite a bit of dust gets flicked off by the blade so I'm not going to capture it all apparently um, but at least it should have taken most of it away so now we'll see what we've got inside the vacuum cleaner see whether it's done its job or not and looking at that that looks pretty um, clean. I'm pretty happy with that. There's basically nothing there. Can't see anything. Oh, <laughs> one little bit there got through. Yep. Oh, and a, oh, another bit. Oh, fodder. Okay. If that's all there is, then I will be wrapped. And there is nothing there other than the stain that's on the bottom. No dust. And now we should notice a reasonable amount of dust in the bottom of this. So first of all, I'll take the the lid off the top. There. Um, the bottom one came off easy because I didn't really snap that one shut completely because um, I didn't want to damage the uh, the seal I've got around there by putting too much pressure on the top so we've got it apart now and inside of the lid basically clean um, the baffle in fact there's very little dust oh there's a little bit there around the edges that's the entry of the hose so just a little bit of surface dust and there we have our collection so looking at how much has been collected and how little we've found anywhere else I'd say it's a success so all I need to do now as you notice it fell over before I need to mount it onto a trolley or somewhere stable so that it's not going to fall over just by pulling on the hose.